Jamaica is back in the men's 100 meters after a long hiatus since 2017. The major achievement signaling the return was the fourth place finish by Oblique Seville at the 2022 World Championships 100 meter final in Eugene, Oregon and also another fourth-place finish and an eighth-place finish by Oblique Seville and Ryan Ford, respectively, at the 2023 World Championships 100-meter final in Budapest, Hungary. However, there is much more evidence of a revival. The 2022 season saw Jamaica amass four men under 10 seconds for the first time since 2017. Led by Johan Blake, the quartet scorched the 10-second barrier 17 times to bring back memories of an era when such an achievement appeared normal. In fact, the last time Jamaican men produced 17 sub-10 clockings was 2016, a year whose highlight was Usain Bolt's third consecutive Olympic 100-meter gold medal. Johan led the 2022 Jamaican performance list at 9.85 seconds, his winning time at the national championships with Seville next at 9.86, with Akeem Blake and Devante Burnett at 9.93 and 9.99 respectively. Seville battered the old barrier seven times, with Johan and Akeem touching it five and four times each. Enter the 2023 season and Jamaica totaled a whopping eight men running under 10 seconds 20 times. This includes the likes of Kishane Thompson, 9.85 seconds, Oblique Seville, 9.86 seconds, Akeem Blake, 9.89 seconds, Rohan Watson, 9.91 seconds, Kadrian Goldson, 9.94 seconds, Ryan Ford, 9.95 seconds, Bawaji N. Krumi, 9.99 seconds, and Julian Fort, 9.99 seconds. Meet 22-year-old Kishane Thompson, a former Garvey Masio high school sprinter and the fastest Jamaica man in 2023. He left high school in 2020 with a 100-meter PB of 10.59 seconds and now trains at the MVP Track Club in Kingston. Thompson, who ran 10.21 seconds and 10.19 seconds leading up to the 2023 National Championships, was one of three men who ran under 10 seconds for the first time. 25-year-old Kadrian Goldson of GC Foster College ran 9.94 seconds while 21-year-old Rohan Watson, also of MVP, ran 9.98 seconds. Thompson was low-key over the last few years and has been plagued by injury issues which made him run sparingly. Let's have a look at Kishane Thompson's 2023 100-meter progression and spectacular results. Kishane Thompson forced himself into the national spotlight when he shocked the national stadium with a massive 9.91 seconds, winning the first heat of the men's 100-meter. Thompson managed to stay under the radar at MVP Track Club while the discussions on who would be the front runners for the three places on the Jamaican team to the World Athletics Championships in Budapest, Hungary in August were happening. 27 Jamaican men led by world record holder Usain Bolt have now gone under the 10 seconds barrier. On Thursday, there were 11 new personal best times in the men's first round of the 100 meter. Thompson's 9.91 seconds makes him the joint 10th fastest Jamaican man ever with Julian Fort at the time of his heat. Kingston's National Stadium was shocked by a stunning performance by the relatively unknown sprinter but also raised speculation about his absence from the semifinals the following day. Addressing the confusion surrounding Thompson's absence, Stephen Francis, the celebrated coach of MVP Track Club, shed light on a carefully crafted plan that accounted for the sprinter's limited participation at the national championships. Francis, renowned for nurturing the careers of track sensations such as Asafa Powell, Nesta Carter, and Michael Freighter, unveiled a strategy designed to gradually shape Thompson into a formidable force on the world stage. Francis stated he is fine. He trained this morning. It was always the plan for him to focus this year on running one-round races. In his previous two years with us, he struggled with injuries, running only four 100-meter races in that time and never participating in the national championships. 
Therefore, we decided that he should run one round here, deliver an impressive time and then focus on competing in one races in Europe. If he is required for relays, he will be available. What made Thompson's performance even more intriguing was that Francis believed he could have achieved an even faster time during the preliminary round if not for the mismanagement of the event by the organizers. While Thompson's time of 9.91 seconds was impressive, Francis emphasized that it fell short of their expectations, attributing it to the organizers' incompetence. However, he expressed confidence in Thompson's ability to run significantly faster in optimal conditions. Thompson's sensational performance has thrust him into the spotlight, leaving fans eagerly anticipating his future endeavors. Kishane Thompson, who had not run since he stunned the National Stadium with a 9.91 seconds run in the first round of the JA National Championships, made his Diamond League debut competing in the 100 meters in Monaco on July 21, 2023, running 10.04 seconds to finish fifth. Akeem Blake was the only Jamaican to finish in the top three of the men's 100-meter, clocking 10 seconds for third while his compatriot Johan Blake came fourth with 10.01 seconds. Moving on, Kishane Thompson showed more athletic prowess, setting a record while winning the men's 100-meter at the CAS International Meeting in the town of Schifflang, Luxembourg, on Sunday, July 30th, Thompson who ran a lifetime best at the Jamaican National Championships in early July, showed his time was no fluke. He won his 100-meter heat in 9.99 seconds, a new meet record. Thompson dipped under 10 seconds for the second time in his very short career after he ran 9.99 seconds in the first round, under the meet record 10.11 seconds set by Julian Wagner of Germany in 2021. He, however, did not show up for the final. Kishane Thompson clocked a new lifetime best 9.85 seconds for second in the men's 100 meter behind American Christian Coleman, who equaled the world leading time of 9.83 seconds at the Wanda Diamond League in Xiamen, China. Johan Blake finished sixth overall in 10.04 seconds. Rohan Watson was ninth in 10.18 seconds while Akeem Blake pulled up in the race but jogged across the line. Kishane Thompson suddenly rose to number 6 on the Jamaican all-time list after he set a new lifetime best 9.85 seconds in the men's 100 meter. He trails only world record holder Usain Bolt, 9.58 seconds, Johan Blake, 9.69 seconds, Asafa Powell, 9.72 seconds, Nesta Carter, 9.78 seconds, and Steve Mullings, 9.80 seconds and is just ahead of Oblique Seville, 9.86 seconds, making him the fastest Jamaican this year. While Thompson's achievement, which makes him the 22nd fastest man of all time and also earned him a spot in the Diamond League final, may come as a surprise to many. His coach Stephen Francis did indicate that there was more to come after his one-round run at the national championships. Kishane Thompson runs 9.87 seconds for fourth, running back-to-back sub-9.90 seconds times at Saturday's Wanda Diamond League Finals at the Prefontaine Classic at Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon. Despite his inexperience running at the top level for only a few months since he burst on the scene in July, Thompson has since run 9.85 seconds and his ceiling for improvement is still unknown. His coach Stephen Francis has given assurance that Thompson would have run significantly faster, but the most important thing is that he feels healthy. The plan is to ensure that next year, in the Olympic year, he will have the necessary race experience and a different attitude to tackle the full program, Francis said. Kishane Thompson's 2023 season has been a whirlwind of remarkable achievements and encounters with some of the fastest sprinters in the world. His journey from Garvey Masio High to Kingston to battling injuries then going sub 10 seconds to international tracks is a testament to his dedication and talent. Thompson is anticipating a significant track and field season ahead for 2024. He delivered a solid and consistent performance in 2023, making him the fastest Jamaican sprinter this year. As we follow his career, we eagerly anticipate his future battles and success on the track. Thank you for joining us in this episode.